Hi, this is Troy with Mersive, and today we'd like to show you how to create your Kepler account and import your pods via the Solstice dashboard. We're really excited about the launch of Kepler, and in this video we'll just give you a quick walkthrough for how to get started. So the first thing you'll need is this uh, Solstice dashboard version 3.4 as well as all of your pods on version 3.4. These are requirements for compatibility with Kepler. Um, the only other thing that you'll need is your pods will need to be on active software maintenance. Once those requirements are met, you can create your account and import your pods into Kepler. Here's how to do that. So the first thing you'll need to do is select the pod or pods that you would like to import and then navigate to the new Kepler tab in the dashboard. Uh, this tab shows up in the 3.4 version of the dashboard, so if you see that tab, then you've got the right version. If not, please update your dashboard. Um, here it says it's found one Kepler-enabled display, so I'm going to hit Connect. It's going to give me an option to select or deselect additional displays. Again, right now I only have one, but of course, if you had multiple displays you're managing in your dashboard, you would see those here. I'll hit Next. Uh, here you'll see the license agreement for Kepler. Please take a moment to read that, and then when you're, once you've given it a read, hit Next. Now it's asking me to enter an email address to check if I already have a Kepler account. I'm going to use an email that we just made up for this demo in order to show you what it looks like to set up a new account. So that email is jkepler at mersive.com, and I'll hit Next. Now it's asking me to create a password since no account was found under that user. I will enter a password. Confirm it and hit next. It gives me a notification that one display has been added to my Kepler account, so that's good. And then when I click, it gives me a prompt and a link to visit my account via a web browser. So I'll click on that and it will take me to the Kepler login page. I'll remove my saved login credentials and enter the new ones I just created. And click sign in. And that's it. Now I've got my Kepler account. Um, there's no activity yet since this has only got one pod connected to it, and it's the one I, I just turned on. Um, as you can see, it's fully functional though. I've got all my options, navigation options on the left hand side here for the different things I'd like to look at. Um, I can also look at account level information here, as well as invite additional users. So. That's the process for creating your Kepler account and importing your pods. I think it's pretty straightforward, but of course, uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And thanks for checking out the video.